Mozart. This unassuming little building in Sane Bight contains some of the local art that has become known worldwide. One of the local birds saying hello. So, Lola said we can come inside with the cameras rolling. So we're going to take you in. We'll back the lens out. So I have to admit, it's pretty unusual. The front end of this place looks more like a bar than an art gallery. With that, nobody under 18 will be served, but the art gallery is through here. So let's continue on and see what we get to see. Wow, look at this place. This is pretty cool. I use that phrase a lot, but there's very few other ones that even come adequate to describe any of these places. Bold primary colors. Basic use of these repetitive patterns. It's all quite incredible. Lola's art tends to capture the more of the emotion of the event than each individual, per se. All of the colors so vibrant and alive. Just like the people of this little community. When you looked around the gallery, it was quite obvious there was a set of colors for the day pictures and a set of colors for the sunset pictures, and they were quite distinct and different. It was very interesting. It was a very interesting approach to dealing with the two changes, the shift of color temperature during the day. And your art wasn't limited to flat surfaces, as you can see. Pretty much anything that she could paint on, she would paint on. These are calabashes, a type of gourd that she grows in her backyard. She'll actually show you if you ask. And this is the lady herself, Lola. Hard at work in her studio. series. If you bought more than four or five of them in any of the sizes, you could rearrange them on a daily basis and come up with a completely new wall of pictures. The scene would change in front of you. All of the backgrounds all are common throughout each one, so it's uh, a very interesting way of doing things. These were all street dancers, people celebrating all the color that is in their lives rainbows. Isn't that the truth? It was really, really pretty. Yeah, that little background goes through, you see? So every day you can pick them all up and rearrange them. And then she likes skulls as well as me, so we had something else in common. And then we found out that the lady not only does art, but she does books, the stories and the art for them as well. So that was kind of neat to know. Well, she found a whole bunch she likes, but... <coughs> so these two, correct? Yes, please. Yes, those two. Okay. And then... These guys apparently are a couple, so they have to go together. Mm -hmm. And these two just make me happy. Oh, okay. There you go. So thank you very much from Lola's Art. An incredible place. You must come and visit this lovely lady. And thank you too. And Barb very happy with her oh, yes. purchases. And grinning like a mad thing as she does. Miss Lola's favorite author, Stephen King. And I actually have this, um, these little stories on my Facebook page. Are you on Facebook too? Yes, oh, we'll have to I'm join your Facebook. Facebook page. And this is, um, this is like a special edition of this book. And 
Oh my word, look at that. The girl who loved Tom Garden and there. To Lola, best wishes, Stephen King. Yes, and see, this is a pop up book. Oh my goodness. And there was only 500 edition, editions of it, 500 copies. Wow. It was great meeting Lola today and seeing her art, getting a chance to chat with her briefly, getting to hear some of her stories. It was great. When you get to Belize, look this lady up. She's fantastic.